Uh, hello, my name is Scott Block. Uh, I'm a, a PhD uh, candidate actually at the University of California at Davis. Uh, I will be graduating actually at the end of this quarter. Uh, in the electrical engineering department? In the electrical department? engineering department, yes. Uh, I In graduating in 2016? 2016, yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah. So how long have you been here? Oh, since 2011. So you've been so, here for about five years now? Yes, yes. I, I did my master's at Texas Tech in electrical engineering. Um, I, my undergrad was actually a mechanical engineer, uh, and I got that at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. So how come you switched from mechanical to electrical? Uh, I always did a lot more stuff with electrical engineering anyways. Actually, I still work with mechanical, except I'm doing all the electrical. Uh, so I, I, do a lot of, I do a lot of research with uh, uh, MIMS, microelectromechanical devices. I see. So I designed the front ends for um, MIMS devices. So. Okay. So, um, um, Oh, who was your advisor here? Uh, Mithraja, Rajivan Mithraja. Raja? Uh, Rajivan Mithraja. Uh, he Rajivan. goes by Raj. I see. Yeah. Indian professor, I guess? Uh, yes. I see. Yes. Yeah. So, um, um, which all universities did you apply to for your PhD? Oh, uh, about 16. I got into six. So, which so ones did you get into? I, I got into uh, Georgia Tech, uh, I got into uh, Arizona State, got into a course here, uh, and I got into uh, Texas A&M, uh, University of Minnesota, and there was one more in there. Can't okay, remember. never mind. But so why did you pick UC Davis above all of them? Well, so in the end it came down to Georgia Tech, UC Davis, and Arizona State. Arizona mm -hmm. State offered me six years worth of tuition. I see. Uh, I got the Dean's Fellowship there. The problem was is they'd already actually decided the project they wanted me on. And, I see. And since I had switched into electrical engineering, I kind of wanted to use the time to explore. Mm -hmm. uh, Georgia Tech, uh, well, to be honest, was a bit overwhelming, and the PhDs there seemed very, basically there was no work-life balance kind of thing. It was like too um, much work. Yeah, basically the guys I met were stressed out of their mind. And, oh. uh, and, and well, you do get that from time to time here, but that was like everybody I met all the time. And, oh, and, they should uh, do more yoga and meditation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, uh, no, I mean, like, professors didn't even know about each other's, each other's work within the same department. They, at Georgia Tech? At Georgia Tech, yeah. I see. Uh, and uh, the people were extremely aggressive, not very friendly and stuff like that, so I decided against that. So you went for, like, a campus visit? Uh, yes, I actually visited all campuses. Uh, I see. Uh, Davis actually because it's an important decision. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I went to A&M, which... Uh, being my home state, I was really disappointed. Oh, Texas Tech. I got into the PhD program at Texas Tech. Um, uh, A&M was bad, which was really sad. I was really disappointed because it's my home state. Uh, mm -hmm. But I absolutely got the worst reception there. And the best reception I got was actually... Why do you say worst reception? Oh, well, I had to plan everything. They didn't... Uh, well, they accepted me after the... <laughs> They accepted me after they accepted everybody else there. I flew everybody in. I and see. so when I came, they I I waited outside professors' offices and stuff like that, and they, they would not arrange anything for me. So it was like you didn't like, feel oh. very welcome. I didn't feel very welcome. Yeah. So uh, 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 so was it very nice at UC Davis? Yes, yes it was. Uh, though they've changed things up a little bit, but when when I when I was applying to UC Davis, they flew PhDs out one at a time. So ah, basically, I see. Uh, when I came, so they even paid for your airfare? Yes. Oh, that's very nice of yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. every university does that. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I know that. Uh, A and M did not. Uh, so, um, yeah, yeah. so, um, like, I mean, uh, what exactly is the focus of your research? Uh, um, the focus of my well, actually, I focused on several different areas, but it's basically a CMOS co-design with MIMS. So uh, basically, I'm looking at and integrated circuits and designing it around a MEMS application. I see. So I've done DC-DC converters with MEMS relays, I've done mm -hmm. ultrasonic low power front ends, I've done MEMS and accelerometer ultra low power nanowatt level uh, mm -hmm. front ends um, and worked for a couple of startups while I was here. Uh, let's see what else have I done. I TA'd for about three years, that's how I paid for most of my PhD. Oh, I see. Uh, so you had to TA, but did they cover all your tuition costs? Yes. Uh, well, that minus like a hundred bucks or something. There, there's oh, okay. So basically, it was no, almost covered. Yeah, almost covered. Uh, yeah, it's weird. So how many PhDs do they take every year in the electrical engineering department at UC Davis? I guess about forty-ish. No, Forty every year? Well, uh, I think they accept around eighty, and they get in about forty every year. Forty every year is a lot. So I see that UC uh, well, Davis no, no, is. No, no, no. Uh, it's a lot, but they usually get around twelve hundred to eighteen hundred applicants. Yeah, so the, uh, so the acceptance rate is hardly about um, uh, one, so one percent, two percent? Uh, it's 
Well, uh, less than 10% more output. About 2 to 3%. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's very competitive. Yes, yes, it's fairly competitive, yeah. And um, so uh, what is, I mean, you said a lot of nice things about UC Davis and it looks like you had a really good time here. Uh, is there the anything part, you, that you d uh, wish could be better? Well, one of the big things, uh, so UC Davis, uh, UC Davis, uh, the, the cool thing about UC Davis is it's kind of a backdoor to Berkeley. And so a lot of the act, a lot of the stuff that I've gained access to over the years has been uh, uh, has been because of projects going on in Berkeley, but access through UC Davis. So like my professor would network me, or I would network with somebody at Berkeley. And so the wonderful thing about that is, is there's a lot of opportunities and a lot of resources. But the big problem is, is that they're not necessarily always here at UC Davis. So you have to kind of work, you have to kind of network like crazy. So we tend to be a little weak on the resources. We tend to be a little weak on newer lab equipment and we tend to be a little weak, but that depends on, on how things are set up in the individual labs. So, I see. Yeah. So uh, after graduating, what do you want to do? Be in the industry or academia or? Oh, I, I have no clue. I'm going to New Zealand for a bit. <laughs> New Zealand? Are you originally from New Zealand? No, no, no. I, just I for vacation? Just for vacation. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, So I mean, you're graduating. You already defended your thesis? I'm about to, actually. About to? Yeah. yeah and so. uh, you don't really have a job offer? No. Well, I Are have, you applying for postdoc no, positions? No, 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 That's not true. I have three job offers on the plate, but I'm not taking any of them because I don't want to do them. Because they are in the industry? Uh, no. One's in a startup that's probably about to go under. One's in academia, but I'm not sure if I want to be at that university. And the other one is in the industry. I see. So, so you do have a lot of options. Right? I do, but... So where do most people get jobs after electrical engineering at UC Davis? Uh, in my group... Like in the industry, which are some of the top employers? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Intel is a big one. Uh, Tektronix, uh, Agilent, I know a few people there. Uh, I mean, so, I mean, the big uh, Qualcomm. Uh, and then, of course, there's a lot of guys that go into startups as well. Apple? Uh, I don't know any personally in Apple, but they're I probably... See. Yeah. So, uh, the ones I named are people I know personally. I see. So, yeah, yeah. so um, uh, thank you very much for your video and uh, wish you the best of luck in your career. Uh, thank you.